How's it going everyone? Brodo Simes here. So this is a short video on how to disable system updates on the PlayStation 4. So the very first thing that you have to do is go to settings and then scroll down all the way to system and then go to automatic downloads. And when you get here, make sure that everything that you see in here is unchecked. So make sure that you turn off all of those settings for me they're all unchecked for you, you're probably going to find some of them checked so make sure that you uncheck all of them and turn them off the next thing we have to do is add al azif's dns servers to the network settings so go to network and then go to setup internet connection and now you have to type the uh, DNS servers. Now this is a uh, step where some people get a bit confused which DNS to type as my primary and which one as my secondary. It really does not matter because both of them are just mirrors of each other. You can type the 165 as your primary. You can type the 192 DNS as your primary. It really does not matter. Just pick one and make it your primary and the other as your secondary. Once you have the DNS servers added, we have to uh, check if they're working by going to the settings and then going up to uh, user's guide and helpful info and then go to uh, user's guide and now you should see this uh, page turning into Alazif's host if you don't see Alazif's host then it means the DNS servers are not working for you you probably mistyped one of the numbers so uh, make sure to double check so that's all for the uh, DNS servers uh, there's also another way to disable updates, which is running the uh, disable updates payload, which can be found on many hosts. What this payload does is that it creates two dummy files in your uh, update folder. And when the PlayStation 4 attempts to download the uh, update PUP file, it's going to find those files and it's going to give you an error message that it could not download the updates. If you want to update your PlayStation 4 for some reason, you can either delete both of them manually by using FTP or Lappy's homebrew app called PS4 Explorer, or you can just go to a host and then run the uh, enable updates uh, payload. Uh, those files will be uh, deleted. There's another case where those files, those two files, get deleted by the PlayStation 4 itself is when a kernel panic happens. When the PlayStation 4 checks the hard drive when it boots, then it's gonna delete those files and you have to run the disable updates payload again so they get created again. Uh, those files, they don't disappear when you turn off the uh, PlayStation 4 and then turn it back on, so uh, you really don't have to worry about that. But there's a, a little mistake that some people are doing, which is adding Alazif's DNS servers to the router. You really should not be doing that because you will be giving the developer full access to all of the info that you have on devices connected to that network, including probably some sensitive information from your work or something. So you really don't have to be doing that. Alazif is a, a very trustworthy developer, has been a part of the PlayStation 4 scene for a very long time, but still uh, just don't do that. Keep those DNS uh, servers only on the PlayStation 4. Another mistake that probably few people are doing is blocking the PlayStation 4 Mac address on the router by using the Mac filtering feature. If you do that, you're not gonna be able to install uh, games with the uh, remote package installer so uh, you're only going to be able to transfer files through FTP so FTP does not have any issues with Mac filtering but if you try to install any games packages through the remote package installer uh, the installation progress is going to be stuck at 1% and you're not going to be able to uh, you know install games so that's all for now I hope this was helpful and this was easy to follow it's just a short and a quick video and I'm sure some people out there already know this. So that's it. Take care and I will see you soon.